Jason Murphy, what has he done to you? What has the child done to you? The changeling! No! Oh, you are feel like you're about to cop a feel. <laughs> Welding and casting a human head. Jason Murphy, we are going to make you an undercover super spy, which means we need to alter your face. But rather than cut you up, we brought in Builder and from Punished Props, who are going to help us get to a point where you can have face prosthetics and look like someone else. I'm going to be like Tom Cruise, where I can just... Yes, it exactly. It's me? Yes. yes. Unfortunately, when we pull it off, it'll be you, not Tom Cruise <laughs> yeah. under it. But Can it's you imagine just the like disappointment? <laughs> he said he, he pulls off his Jason face and it's just another Jason I face. I, you told me it was going to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> so, as I understand it, even for undercover operatives, they will use facial prosthetics to change the way people look to make them unrecognizable. But it all begins with something called a life cast. Is that Correct. what it is? Yes. To build prosthetics, like a fake nose or ears or whatever, we need a platform to build those off of. And that platform needs to be a perfect copy of Jason's face. But not actually his face. We're gonna make a mold, a silicone mold. We have some supplies here. Plaster it all over his face. That's a negative copy of his features. And then we'll pour some sort of casting medium into that to make a positive copy of this glorious so, oh, I've heard, heard, visage. Uh, this is what they call a stone positive, right? Yeah. So basically we put goop all over him. Mm -hmm. The goop will harden. Mm -hmm. We'll pull it off of him and we'll have a bucket in the shape of his head. And then you can fill it with stone or whatever else to have something that you can work on to make prosthetics. Yeah. You could use clay to sculpt the nose on it and then make another mold of that to make the fake nose that would fit perfectly on his face. So we can sit there and just reuse my face and just make multiple mediums. That's the beauty. Once you head. have a yeah. mold of your face, you can make any kind of thing. We have all the materials. We've got this face. Why don't we just get started? And I'll explain as we roll through it. And I brought in a ringer. Life casting is better if you have more hands to help out so we can do this quickly. My friend Grace, she runs a channel called Zombie. She has props and costumes. Awesome. She is a qualified cosplayer. We got a girl. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> uh, an awesome person. Nice Thanks for joining nice us, Grace. Nice to meet you. She's gonna assist us through this whole thing to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible. And you know CPR. Yes, so... No, no reason, no reason. You. That escalated no very quickly. This is... <laughs> suddenly, this is the safest and scariest <laughs> video we've done. Let's get started. <laughs> all right, so Murphy's all bibbed up. Where do we begin? Since he's opted not to shave his head, we need to put a bald cap on him. Very specific bald cap, not latex. Silicone latex, they don't get along. Yeah, so. Is it because they blend together, or...? The latex will keep the silicone from curing, so it'll just stay honey on his face indefinitely. You know what? Part of me wishes I'd swap that out for a swim. Cap. That would have been so, amazing. That is from a special effects shop. It is oversized. Whoop. It's a full body bald cap. <laughs> it's just a flesh toned silicone it's like, suit. It's like a Zentai suit. <laughs> It'll look like Green Man. Throw up the horns. Uh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Sometimes that works. What the pull, hell am, pull am that, I doing right now? Pull that now? over your forehead. There you go. And then I'm going to do this. It's and it's going to go over your ears. Oh my god, I feel like Francis Dollarhide from Red Dragon. <laughs> you, you look like Howie Mandel from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> You're just putting it uh, just putting you start on my head. It. Uh, I have safety scissors. I'm going to cut near your face to just make a little room. And I'm going to just tear it a little bit across. Careful, in the right spot. So from this point forward, I assume what we want is everything to be as smooth as possible, yes. right? No seams or ridges. Yeah. Now he has a beard, not a problem. The silicone we use is safe to use on short beards. It has a release uh, agent in it to keep it from sticking to the beard. So we're good there. Uh, Woo! We man, do. I think we're done. You look great. <laughs> we do need to glue this to his face. Okay. So I've got super glue. I mean, uh, Prosade medical adhesive. Oh yeah. And we'll glue that to your face. And so you're putting it underneath. Yep. So that this can will stick down to his face. Got it. Okay. Yeah. You're going down there below my hairline. Yes. To pull it down. Covering all of that up. And that's to make your head as featureless as possible. So are you not going to mold my ears? In this case, no. I just thought about that, and that actually makes it a lot easier to do if we don't do your ears. Okay. Well, and again, if we're doing this for spy prosthetics, you, you don't need prosthetics on your ears. That's actually a, a really good technique for spotting a spy. No we ears. ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, normal you know ears. Is what it I'm really, saying. it really kind of changed the Cold War when they you figured it out. I'm gonna liberate your ears. Okay. Liberate your ears. <laughs> um, are you reservoir dogging me right now? This isn't gonna be like doing makeup for an X Men movie, like 
I'm in the chair for eight hours so I can look like Nightcrawler. Because if I, if you can put me in a chair for eight hours and then I come out looking like Nightcrawler, do it. You will come out bleach blonde though. We forgot to mention. This should, should take about an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, and boy, I can't wait to cover this yammering mouth with silicone. That's going to be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So there's a little bit of extra. It's not going to affect the overall quality, but I have some acetone here in a, a tiny amount. Fine. But this will dissolve the material here. Remember when we took the acetone and we used it to melt down the styrofoam? Yes. This is exactly the same process happening, only yeah. in a small level. So it, it blends it and it gets rid, rid of those yeah. harsh I, edges. Hey, you know, I've got an apalm on my face. <laughs> oh, jeez. Every comment. This seam looks fine. Around his neck, though, I'm going to use this to dissolve the extra. And I only need a tiny bit. But I can go along the seam where I put down that adhesive, and now there is no seam between the bald cap and his skin. If you have any discomfort at all, Jason, jazz hands. Keep your keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just about ready to go. That looks good. Pretty good. Okay. The correction. Do? That looks good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> they do it's make, very adequate. It'll work. They do make a remover for this medical adhesive. I didn't bring any. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here, don't worry. We're ready to go. So next step, we mix up silicone and cover his head. Okay, and silicone, I think of just objects already made out of silicone, right. but there's two ingredients that combine. Two liquids, this is super easy, one to one by volume. Mix it together, stir it up. You got about 10 minutes to spread it on. That liquid turns into a rubber. So this particular one is designed to go over beards and Grace is gonna help us with that by doling out portions. Doing this stuff is awesome if you have a team of three or four people to work quickly. Oh, because Everyone has it's their own timed. task. Yeah, once that gets mixed together, we got about 10 minutes. So you're gonna cover the back of his head. Okay. We're gonna do a, around his neck uh, like so. Okay. I will focus on the more delicate areas, the ears, nose, eyes, all that stuff. But we'll start by covering his face and leave this open for as now, long as possible. Is there it just even all over or do I want Fairly more? Fairly even. We can apply a second layer if we wanna thicken it up a little bit. Do I need like straws in my nose or anything? You don't need straws in your nose. Okay. I'm gonna be very gentle about applying it to your nose area. Okay. And if there's no detail in this part of the mold, that's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. The silicone is two different colors so that when you mix it together, it's obvious that it's been mixed. Oh, great. Yellow and blue make green. And the pot life is how much time you have before it starts to react and set up. Okay. Basically, that's your mixing time. And then at that point- And, and application time. Oh, and- It must be applied. After six minutes, it starts to get set up and you can't work it anymore. Okay, so, and then it's 20 minutes to cure. Afterwards. Yeah, full cure okay. is at 20 minutes. So yeah, you wanna everybody get in there really fast. Yeah, then while you and I are brushing, Grace can mix up the next batch. Cause he's gonna be totally covered. Yeah. How do we remove it? That's a great question. <laughs> I've never thought of that. <laughs> Can we figure that out? Like, There's a real answer, I promise. <laughs> we will cut a seam down the back of the head if the seam makes the casting imperfect. It doesn't matter, it's the back of his head. So do I want to go thicker on applying to the back yeah, of the we head? Can, so once we do a whole it, layer, maybe if we have a little silicone left over, just brush some extra and okay. align down the back. But it sounds like you're not overly worried about it one way or the other. No. There you go, Bill. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Grace. You can start on the next one. I'm going to just take little bits from this. You hold on to okay, it. Okay, got it. And I'm going to start going on your ear. At the edge of the the ball cap, just brush it down so it doesn't pull it up. And then we're gonna basically go a seam around here. And then this is gonna go in your ear, so it's gonna start getting difficult to hear. You can be a lot more generous with the amount of okay. silicone you're applying. So I'm not doing multiple layers of paint. This is the reverse of what you taught us on the spray painting. Yeah. Just glob it right on there. Yep. Once this starts to set up, Jason, I will finish covering your ear. Okay. But this will leave a gap in there so it's not oozing uh, goo into your ear canal. Oh, thank you. So the time I got a life cast, Murphy, I had the full on Gansfeld effect because you're about to not be able to hear much or see much. When so I... is there gonna be any light coming in? Well, so... once we have the plaster on there, you're not gonna see any. Oh okay. yeah, no, okay. that's true. But your job is gonna be to stay real still. And it's weird how I remember feeling like I was tilted over, but I couldn't even ask, am I tilting over? I just was hoping because he can't talk or nothing, yeah. it's really trippy. So this is actually starting to thicken up a bit already, but it's good. Grace has got the next one going. Everyone's doing great. You're doing great, Jason. You're Thanks. great. Thanks. I practiced. Did we already set up like safety things? If you if you're afraid you can't breathe or anything. Yeah. Yep. Jazz we hands. Have, jazz hands means get me out of this thing. Fresh coat. Oh yeah. Now this is all goopy again. Yeah. <laughs> See so how much of a difference that makes. It's giving me Slimer vibes. Yeah. yeah. I played bass for Slimer vibes. <laughs> <laughs> This helps fulfill my dreams of wanting to be on You Can't Do That on Television. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna say, remember when Jason had eyebrows? <laughs>
Oh, we didn't cover his eyebrows. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, whoops. <laughs> no, there are different silicones you can use. This one is specifically made for going over body hair. The can says pubic hair, so if you want to get... <laughs> Bill picked this up at the Pretty Kitty Brazilian Salon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It turns out it's Brazilian wax. Yeah. Oh, my God. But it's got some sort of release agent in it, so it doesn't grab onto your hairs too aggressively. Um, you're going to lose a couple. All right, this is your last chance. Whatever comic book character crap you want to say, you're about to not be. I'm dismissive of comic books. Get you out. have entire boxes of comics at your house. I've seen them. So I got a few gaps. How worried am I about getting every, getting it around every single hair? So long as it's covered and there's no, yeah, the, the beard area will just look kind of funky. Oh, got it. I just have a bulge. We're not going to massage it into his hair. Now, I'm not worried about the beard or anything. I will say, though, that if, it's, if it were shorter, it would, this would be easier. I That's shaved this morning. Very close. <laughs> All right, so any last words? I mean, anything else you want to say? <laughs> He's like, let them eat cake. <laughs> See you on the other side. All right, cool. We're going across your mouth. It may tug a little bit, like, across your eyes. So while I'm working, I'll let you know when I'm doing that. I'm going over your right eye, and I'm going to try and be as gentle as possible and slow as possible. Like that. All right. So I'm doing another true. I'm doing another pass. Boy, it really helps to move slowly on this. Yeah. Especially as it thickens up. Yeah, it's getting to a point now where it's kind of thick. So I'm going to hold off because it will just pull the next layer down. But see how it kind of, it's kind of pulling a bit? So that's yeah. pretty much done. We're just mixing up another batch right now, Jason. I'll let you know when we're coming in for another pass. See, this is that bedside manner, because I'm sure you get people that aren't comfortable being uncomfortable, and you yeah. got to kind of walk them through the process. All right, I'm going over your left eye again, Jason. So I'm coming, I'm going to touch your nose now, and I am going to go down the middle of your nose, but I will be very careful not to cover your nostrils. We can fill that in later once this is off your head. Now the silicone is very floppy, even when it's fully cured. So that's why we're gonna put a plaster bandage jacket around it to, so that it holds its general form. And this silicone is capturing all of his wonderful details. How are you doing, Jason? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up, two thumbs up, great. What we're gonna do now that he's covered is basically try and make him featureless. Okay. So like the area around his, the back of his ear, okay. start filling that in. Okay, so I assume the thinking of this is that detail for any kind of appendage like on the ear, you want as much silicone keeping as much of those details preserved so it doesn't tear. Or... It won't tear, it also makes that region less uh, flexible. I'm gonna go over your eye right now, which means that it won't deform when you're casting out of it. This is like the modern world version of Jim Carrey's The Mask. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go around his neck to make sure we have a nice, strong thing around the, the neck. And then you just add a little bit extra down the back okay. of the head where we're gonna cut the seam. Now, overall, this is a fairly thin mold. The um, durability isn't great. We could encase his, block in a, his head in a big block of silicone, but that would be dangerous and expensive. <laughs> the idea, though, with life cast is you really only need the one casting from the mold. I'm really surprised at how much of Jason's features come through, even when it's covered this much. Yeah, and this doesn't need to be pretty. Obviously, it's it's a big lumpy mess. Are the brushes pretty much destroyed or is there yeah, a silicone we'll dissolving it. solution? No, there isn't. In fact, that's one of the reasons why silicone is so useful is that it is not reactive to many things mm -hmm. once it's fully cured. But these are just like 50 cent chip brushes and we're just gonna throw them away. You will just get to chill for about 10 minutes, Jason. So if you need a drink of water and you can drink out of your nose, we can help you out. <laughs> or, oh man, it'd be great to be Mork. You just use your finger. That's a relevant reference all the kids are gonna get. <laughs> Let it cure for about 10 minutes. It's feeling pretty good. We need to make a hard shell over it to support all of this once it's off his noggin. Oh, I just realized you said hard shell and I'm looking at this stuff. I realized this is like straight up cast. This is what they would make a cast for a broken arm out of? That is correct. A oh, plaster bandage and Grace here has a bucket of water that activates the plaster. And then you and I are gonna put strips of it all over his head in a clamshell. Take the plaster bandage, get it damp and then squeegee it off and then hand it to me. Perfect. We're going to start with the seam line that will be the, the parting line between the two halves of the mold. So I'm just bringing this down to his, the neckline there. 
And do I want to tuck and it in the corners there? You can really kind of massage it into the surface. Okay. And it's I not just, sticking on the side. It won't. Well, yeah. it'll get there. Fold this up. Okay. To make the bottom part a little bit thicker and oh, stick it. in with the uh, silicone a little bit. Got it. Okay. As we add layers and as it starts to stiffen up a little bit, we can continue massaging it and it'll stick better as it starts to stiffen up. Each edge that we add, you massage into the previous piece. Take a peek at what I'm doing over here. I'm making a raised edge here, and we'll use that as kind of the, the parting line got it. between the two. That's a little bit thicker. Okay. And then Grace has got some smaller pieces we'll use to start covering the back of the head. I'm gonna go around the neck. So this part down here that as it gets thicker, uh -huh. I'm just gonna massage it into the silicone and it, it should into stick pretty well. Into little nooks and crannies. Yeah. Just like that. I will just do a middle line here, and then you can work that way, and I'll work this way. Great. There you go. And then see how I just folded it over so that we have a nice clean seam line down the middle. Got it. And then you just massage it into the previous one, and we're good. I work in my shop by myself, well, with my wife, Brittany. We work as a team, but we're usually each working on our own projects. It is pretty fantastic to have both a crew of people to do the work <laughs> and other people to film it. This is really wonderful. I guess now's a good time to plug your channel, Punish Props, right? That would be punishprops.com. This is a little bit more of an expensive way to do a life casting. It is, in my opinion, the best way, but you can do it with a dental alginate or just any skin safe alginate. Um, and I do have a video tutorial showing how to do that. I am not seeing this tuck in to all the bits and nooks and crannies it's in okay. here. It's okay, so it's not gonna stick. Because no, it I just guess... needs to hug it. Go horizontal now. Okay, got it, get it nice and thick. Well, yeah, we'll get two good layers on there. Okay. Here, I'll cover up the rest of this. And they're gonna be in opposite directions so that they are more structurally sound. It's more fun for us, us. than Jason, <laughs> yeah. but Grace is having fun, I can tell. Yeah. Grace, who does Getting plastery. plenty of cosplay making stuff on her channel, too. Uh, which is? It's Zon Zon Zombie. Was Zombie taken? Is that why? I got it from a poorly translated anime, and it just stuck. And that's good for this side. Don't get that wet. OK. We do have to let this set up before we do the front half. So what I'm just going to do is use my goopy hands to smooth everything out. Yeah, at this point, you're just keeping everything moving as it dries. Yeah, if you see like a puddle of plaster, you can massage it in so that it is doing more than just being a, a, a puddle on the surface. You can feel that where we started down here is starting to stiffen up. Yeah. But that looks good. Great job, everyone. Who's a good man? Especially you, Jason. <laughs> so good. Another 10 minutes have passed. We're ready to do the front of it, but we want to keep the plaster on the front from adhering to the back. Oh, because otherwise too. it'll be just totally encased. It'll be like a Q-tip. We'll have to get a, a bone saw and open yes, it. Yes, that is the nightmare scenario. So, <laughs> <laughs> petroleum, <laughs> petroleum jelly, and you can get it all over everything. Uh, you can't use, as, <laughs> I, as I, uh, words I live by, you can never use too much petroleum jelly. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush over way more than I need on the plaster, get some on the silicone, that's fine, because the, the wet plaster will want to uh, seep into, into the crack there. We wanna just keep that from locking up. Yeah. I was gonna ask you to do it, Brian, but I'm just gonna nope, do it. Nope, nope, yep, I have trust done the this pro. Times. What you can do is lay this down on there, just along the edge, just and just tamp it in there. Get a nice uh, crisp edge all the way across? Yeah, and what the pa it's not necessary, but I like to do it just in case. Just to make sure that any of the other bandages don't end up sticking. There's a little bit of a physical barrier between them. Yeah. We also haven't checked in, in with uh, Jason in a while. Jason, how you doing, buddy? Great, awesome. We are joking around, but it is a good idea to double check on your model. Make sure they're doing okay, because who knows, he could be asleep in there. Okay, this is gonna overlap. You about done there, yeah, Picasso? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna overlap the seam. We're gonna run my finger in there so that it creates. Yeah, so we have like two sides of a shell, like an Easter egg. Yeah, and it's, and it's just gonna pop apart. It's uh, There's some registration there so that when we put it back together, it will want to go back together. Just, just massage Smooth that into it. the previous layer. We got some of the shorter ones now, so we'll go around the neck. And we're doing almost the same thing. It's just when we get to the nose area, I'll add yeah, some smaller pieces. Once we get going, it's pretty 
Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, yeah. I'm gonna go right under your nose. Boy, now that's horrifying. That's legit terrifying. Going across the eyes. Um, now that there is a bridge here, I'm going to use some of these smaller pieces to go over the nose. So I'll just make a very thin strip that just does this. And that's just to, I'm gonna be near your nose. Everything's cool though. It's just to support the silicone there when we're casting. <laughs> All right, going across your nose, like that. And that is all the plaster. So we're just gonna poke you a bit more to make sure everything's nice and massaged in. Wow. This is this is truly, from the outside, Jason, uh, terrifying looking. <laughs> oh, okay. it, 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 outside, it's terrifying. You look great. You look <laughs> great. Uh, you can feel it getting a little warm, too. Oh, it does? It is it exothermic? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. All right. We're ready to crack this thing off his face. Jason is very excited about that, I could tell. So I'm gonna start by pulling the front off. Do I have a job? Um, to watch. You just watch. I, I hold the flashlight. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. Okay. So I'm gonna try and pull this off. So resist a little bit. I'm trying to be gentle here. Mm. What? Mm. You're oh. being a dick, okay. Oh, got it, Jesus. <laughs> it wasn't jazz hands, I knew, <laughs> I knew it. Oh, this is just a skeletal structure for when we get the mold yeah, off, yeah. got it. If the pressure is too much, then just give me a thumbs down. There we go. Oh, it makes that satisfying, like, unlocking sound. Oh. That was oddly satisfying. You look all better. <laughs> he looks great. New and improved. Do you want it? Here, we can Mirror. peel this away. <laughs> Mirror. <laughs> 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 Wait till they get a load here, of me. <laughs> here, spin around again, and Brian can do the back. Okay, and then and uh, just, just 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 sort of lean your gently. head back a tiny bit. Okay, and start at the bottom. You're gonna try and peel it out this way. Uh, so from pull, the top or from the, the bottom? bottom. Okay, got it. So yeah. I'm getting a finger. Oh, there it is. So you feel all the nooks and crannies that are filled in with Kinda that plaster. Go. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was delightful. <laughs> that was really cool. You can set that back in here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put the jacket mold back together. Okay. And let it sit in this bucket upright. There's no water though, right? No water. Oh, okay. Or just somewhere gentle for it to chill. I'm looking on the inside, the seam looks good, and we're just gonna let it, cause it's still baking. Yeah. It's still finishing its thing. Okay. Now we get to remove Jason from his tomb. So how do you decide, I assume you don't cut it over this way. You want to, no. what, slice it down the back? Yeah, so down the back up to about here, we're gonna cut a seam. I'm gonna tuck my fingers up, all up around your neck. I have safety scissors. Oh, that's- They are round so that, on the bottom. You're yeah. not gonna take a scalpel and just run it no. down. No, it might be a little, a tiny bit uncomfortable, but it's the rounded part of the blade there. That's what's gonna be going on down your neck. I'm gonna be as careful as possible with that. I'm gonna go up to about here. Um, if you can cut a T there, that helps with tearing and everything. So I'm gonna release this from your skin. Oh, so when this comes off, he should still have the bald cap on. It looks like the bald cap wants to come with the silicone. So we're just gonna run with that. It might come off, but I now have a place where I can cut. I'm gonna give myself some space and I'm gonna cut in a zigzag. The zigzag is so you don't get like a, an obvious seam down the back? Yeah, and when the zigzag comes together, it will lock together, it won't slide. Got it. All right, so here we go. I'm giving myself a little bit of room and I'm gonna cut through some of the silicone. And my fingers are in between uh, the blade and your head. Even though it won't cut you, I'm still trying to be as careful. Is there a chance that you'll cut off his hair? A little hair might come off. Oh, so there's a chance. Oh, I got your hair. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there we go. Yeah, we'll just put yeah, that yeah. back on top there. <laughs> I feel like I know Jason better now. Murphy, do you feel like you're just feeling this immense pressure being lifted off of you? It's weird because it doesn't feel like it's all that stuck to me anymore. Yeah. yeah. It feels like I'm just like wrapped in it because it already hardened and kind of pulled away from my face. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer you can talk again. <laughs> The good news is you, got, you now have a, a, a goop cake face costume that you can wear to Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. I could see while he's breathing, there's a, 
his pockets go, go, oh my God, look at this pulsing. I'm gonna do a sort of a T cut at the top here so that if the mold wants to split, it goes sideways and not down the middle like that. All right, so I think oh, we are- So much more gross with Jason's hair on top. <laughs> All right, why don't we rotate you around? <laughs> There's a little- yeah. All right, flex your face, bro. Flex your face. Let me see your freaky. get your features free. <laughs> okay. Are we ready for the birthing? Yes, oh, yes, okay. uh, do you need help? Shall I'm I... gonna be just, slow, again, slow and deliberate. Okay. I'm gonna free it around his neck. Coming up behind his ear. Yep. Just like- Free his ear. Three person mas massage. So bend, bend forward a little bit, Jason. Forward a little bit. There you go. And we're gonna stretch this over your head. Oh. Oh. What, uh, uh, uh. Is it, oh, oh we got Wait, 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 he's stuck on the neck. Stuck on the neck. Oh, it's pulling my yeah. hair. There oh. Oh my gosh, you can feel the detail of the beard. Ready? Thing, Ready? Holy cow. Yep. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Good as new! <laughs> Ladies and Yay! gentlemen, Jason Murphy! Round right. of applause! Yay! It's good to be back. So you have no oh. idea what everything looked like. No, no. That... So this, here you hold that open. There's your face. Oh, it's like when the dude from Robocop gets melted by toxic yeah. waste. <laughs> I got a little, that's a little bit of an imperfection there from where the goo kind of. Form, so you it it actually a... pulled away pretty quickly. Yeah. As I could feel it as it dried, just slowly separating from my face. All right, this is gonna go back in the mold. Go back on your head. <laughs> like that. And then this can go back in. And do you wanna try to get it to nest exactly the way it was? Yeah. I guess it does and it pretty, it's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. In there like that. So when casting something from this, you would use both of these pieces? The, that, and we'll cap the back of it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and so it becomes this, a bucket. Yeah. All of this is necessary. How much of my hair did you cut off? Okay, it was it like, was that's a big much. gap. No, okay. no, it's nothing. Like that, and so there's that. our mold. Now we have a Jason bucket. We'll tape this up, um, but I'm gonna go in, mix up a little more silicone, patch up the well, nose. Here, why, why don't you get cleaned up, and then he'll go ahead and fix the imperfections on this. Okay. There we go. You're mixing up a small batch of the silicone, and you're going to, what, are you gonna fix the perfection? And yeah, this will be a little hard to see. This spot here, this silicone was curing when we brushed it on, mm -hmm. and it was hard to see that, so there left. there's a gap left there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more silicone in there, and kind of sculpt my own smooth spot there. Um, it won't be perfect, but it'll be better than that obvious blunder. And silicone will cure and stick to other silicone. That's good enough. Yeah. I'm also gonna use some of this to plug up the nose. And again, it, it doesn't matter if the, if the nose is pretty, we just don't want liquid to come out of there Got it. when we're casting stuff into it. So we're just gonna jam a bunch of silicone in there, plug it right up. I see light over here, so I'm gonna just smear some on there, because I have it. Well, and of course you want to apply it to the outside so you're not messing up the features on yeah. the inside. Cool. Oh, it's scooping right out the nose. That's great. Yeah. It looks lovely. <laughs> All right, so where are we at? Jason is now clean. We got a head with plugged noses and we need to fill it with what? Normally it would be a stone positive right. for the prosthetics. Yes. But that would take time. It right? would take time. We're gonna do something a little quicker today and fun. It's really important that I pass this test or I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flexible urethane foam, kind of like Nerf darts or Nerf. Nerf, is uh, that an acronym? It is, what does it stand for? I don't know, if only the comments would tell us. Non-expanding recreational foam, I believe. Oh, somebody reads the comments. Somebody reads the comments. Learn a lot from them, dummy. <laughs> it's just an expanding urethane foam. It's squishy. It'll be really fun, like a soccer ball we can kick around. So we're gonna mix that together. Your pour face it in is here. gonna be a soccer ball we can kick around. Yay! Should no one else notice the realization, Donnie? <laughs> First, we have to put our mold back together. Okay. So you want to put the back of your head on here. Okay. And it should lock back into place because we did such oh, a great job. So we just seal the silicone up yeah. into the plaster like that. We're gonna duct tape it closed. You and brought duct tape from Seattle. I did. This is the we have the best duct tape in oh, Seattle. Oh man, you're gonna start you're gonna start duct tape wars. So we're just gonna kind of lash this together. If you had mold straps, you could do that. Uh, I don't. Uh, I didn't bring them, so we're just gonna duct tape it close. Mold straps? Yeah, it's straps like straps made of mold. Like, just like belts, basically. Like you'd use to tie stuff down to a trailer, only smaller. Oh, okay. Or, oh, that, that ratchet to get yeah. it nice yeah, and yeah. tight. Kind of like that. So, Thank you for not doing that while it was on my head. That oh would have been God. really cool. <laughs> have people died doing this? I have no idea. I'm glad we asked that question now. When I was in college, my buddies were doing it to one of their roommates. Just put the plaster directly on his face and it started heating up and he started oh. screaming. Oh. He's like, get it off, get it off. 
They pulled it off and it ripped his eyebrows. Right oh, off. that's amazing. They just were making it up as they went along, right? No more horror stories. <laughs> so in here, I'm just gonna reach in yeah, sure. his brain and relocate the seam on the back there. So you're taking the zigzags and yeah. getting them all lined up. Oh, okay. We have a an effective negative of Jason Murphy. That's but look, the seam is gone. Yeah, oh wow. It, yeah. is legitimately severe. As we pour volumes of liquid in there and it expands from the weight, the jacket will keep it in place. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, okay, we have a bucket. Set it down there, we'll use that so it's not gonna go anywhere. Yep. Do you need any ballast around to keep it vertical? That's or? not a bad idea. I don't know they used the word ballast correctly. That's, you didn't, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. Take some of these cups and oh, just yeah. wedge, wedge them in there. It's a lot better. There you go. Just use them as ballast, <laughs> it'll be fine. We'll just wedge that in there. I'll be happy when in the dictionary it says, alternately, something that keeps a head vertical. <laughs> it's gonna just show a picture of a paper cup. <laughs> the next part is gonna be quick. We're gonna mix the thing together and pour it in there. Okay. And then we're gonna kind of slush it around to coat the inside okay. while it's still liquidy, and then this is gonna expand. Okay. So, I've already portioned these into one-to-one -one ratio. Yeah, there was a disturbing okay. moment when you just casually mentioned, yes, a head is about four liters. How, yes. is, how does one come to know such a thing? Google. Oh, okay. Yeah. So your head is about a gallon. So this is the expanding foam. It's a urethane polymer, I guess. Mm -hmm. In um, two parts? In two parts. It's a liquid, and then when you mix it together, there's a foaming agent that will create bubbles so that it expands. And then the other thing it does is it cures into a solid. In this case, it's gonna be a flexible solid, so it's a squishy foam. Oh, we could all do this together. It's be really fun. Uh, you pour that in there. You pour that in there. Oh, dude, like same yeah, time. scientist. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'll take yours, Brian, so I can oh. scrape it down. It's a little thicker. Mm. And then we want to mix this really fast and introduce as many bubbles as we can. Usually when you're doing casting, you don't. But in this case, we do. And I'm scraping the sides to make sure that everything gets integrated really well. And we want to mix it until it's ready to start foaming. And then it's we gonna... want to pour it. This is actually starting to get warm as it reacts. Okay, and so we're just pouring it directly into my head. Into your head, but I'm also going to try and get it to cover the side. Jay, so you want to aim it so it gets in all the cracks and crevices because if you just poured it at the bottom and it bubbled up, those bubbles are going to prevent it from getting in there. Yeah, the bubbling and foaming and expanding, you'd think it would want to rise to fill all those crevices. It will not. Now that most of it's in there, I will do this. That doesn't look like it's going to be nearly enough. Um, if it's not enough, we'll mix up some more and add it. But it expands uh, six times in volume. Now, where can you get all of these supplies? Are these available just like on Amazon? Yeah, actually. These are all stuff from a company called Smoothon. Uh, if you have a Smoothon or a Reynolds advanced materials store near you. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Let's it's a lot easier. Oh, the ballast. Um, How expensive is this whole project, everything we've done so far? A couple hundred bucks. That's not bad at all. Not too bad. And I always make sure I get more than I think I need, just in case. Doesn't hurt to have extra. All right, it's really starting to foam up a bit. I'm going to hold it like this so that it fills up from the face back. Got So that's, that's the most the important face, part. Yeah, it gets all the detail. It's the money maker. You know what, we could also put something in there to take up a lot of that volume. Hey, I one did. of those cups you had? Oh my gosh, for ballast? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a genuine ballast cup? All right, we got full bellies and elevated expectations. Spill it. Time to crack our boy open. That's it? You just That's it. Just gonna crack it open. Yeah, just okay. like an egg. Just yeah. <laughs> she's just destroying that, like no. That might be some sort of trauma for me. I'm just gonna cut him out. I'm waiting for Brian to try and take my knife away yeah, so again. I'm, I'm just gonna stand way far away. And take the jacket off. And this is actually kind of handy to have a cup in there. I got like a little pet. Okay. Ah! <laughs> no. No. Uh, yeah, uh, here, Jason, I'll let you oh, just peel be the honest. seam away. Okay. Do be Center careful, because I've noticed that, that the silicone will tear. If you take an angle, yeah. you just keep going. Okay. It'll pull apart. And then uh, slide your hand inside all the way around, get it all off. There like you so. go. Get it over the ears. This is exactly what we did to your face. <laughs> we were rubbing <laughs> our hands over. It felt really good, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, <laughs> very relaxing. It yeah. felt like I was being tended to by my handmaidens. And? Free haircut. And free haircut, thank you, <laughs> Bill. Who's your stylist, Bill Duran? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow, would you look
Look at that. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. So this is what I'll look like when I lose my hair. <laughs> when you're dead. Look at this little side by side. It's actually. Here, just relax your face. Relax I'm, your face. Close your eyes. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's, Dude. that's just as pale as I am in real life, too. This is amazing. That's really incredible. I didn't expect, I didn't expect to be recognizable. Yeah, I didn't either, to be honest. There's foam hairs, if you look. Oh they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Like, that's how precise the silicone mold is, is that the foam filled in the individual hairs on your on your mustache. I and mean, here, look, look at this. You could see, you could see all the details of the bald cap. You can see the flow of your beard. There's another of your actual hairs in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spot we repaired a little bit? Oh, yeah. It's a little disorienting. <laughs> it's very disconcerting. <laughs> like, my brain is having trouble processing it. When you look at it, it's just kind of... I mean, this I is... I mean, that's me! This is you! Oh, and that works out great! It does! It's a stand! <laughs> oh, my God! That's too good! You can see on the top, <laughs> There's a little bit of flash coming through from the, the seam on the mold, but oh, yeah, yeah. just a tiny amount. And this is the consistency of, of kind of like a Nerf football. It really is. Here, yeah. go, go along. <laughs> but, <laughs> go for it, why not? Just make, make another one. It's Man. So... so, if this was, if we had cast it in something like uh, hydrocal stone, like a rigid material, uh -huh. um, you could have that bust that you could use and reuse to sculpt features onto it. So, you know, a different nose. So or the idea features. is for the prosthetics part, you would have another mold of, let's say, the outside of a big balloon nose, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would put like hard balloon gelatin in there that's warmed up and you would stick it on there so that the outside is somebody else's nose and the inside would exactly match his nose. Once you had that, you would apply it over, you would smooth it out, cover it with makeup, mm -hmm. and now you just have somebody else's nose. Yep. The trick nice. is molding someone else's nose without them knowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nowadays, I'd imagine you could do like a 3D scan. Somebody walks oh, yeah, through a corridor, yeah. scan their face, and then you exactly 3D print that nose. Or if you're just really good at sculpting, you could sculpt it by hand on, with clay on there, pull a mold of that, and you're good to go. Oh, right. Yeah. All right, now here's the question. Do we make Dress Pants Robot Man into an android? <laughs> oh, God. Just have it turning on a <laughs> swivel. <laughs> Flying. That's amazing. Sorry, He's way sorry, more buddy. Ripped. Sorry, buddy. I got a little bogey coming out here. Well, you could you could carve that out. I can. You would I just if, if it's if this was a stone positive, you would just take a Dremel and just yep. carve it out. If you were gonna do uh, full face sculpts on it, you could uh, you could uh, trim his beard off. Um, you oh, could sand right. it down so he's nice and baby smooth, and I can't believe make, the like, detail on the beard. That's the amazing part. Good job, everyone. Oh, man. We're going to sell so many of these. <laughs> <laughs> we could, couldn't we? Oh, my God. Patreon reward. Patreon reward. Jason <laughs> Foamhead. Dude, how many of these can we make before this gives out? This will probably only get a couple of castings out of it. OK. Um, if you were going to produce a lot of them, I would cast this in stone, clean it up a little bit, and then make a big, durable mold of it uh -huh. where you can take all the time you want, don't have to worry about killing your subject. And a big mold like that, you could get 50 castings out of. Man. Oh, we got to just start leaving these in random places. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> it's Perfect. Coming. Look how good that is. <laughs> a major success. Thank you so much, Builder You're Ann. welcome. Punishedprops.com, so youtube.com slash punishedprops. Yep. You could, you could crash my house anytime. Wonderful. And if you want to get into more molding and casting for a variety of purposes, our YouTube channel has a whole playlist on just molding and casting. Everything Hells, you need to know, yes. get started. Yeah. My pleasure, I will come down to Texas and pour goo on your face anytime you want. Oh, you say the sweetest things. <laughs> Let me know if you need a haircut.